John Silber grew up in San Antonio, the son of an architect who was out of work during most of the Depression. Though John's mother had two small children at home, she had to return to teaching to support the family. John's father was a great influence on him. When a tonsil infection kept John in bed for five months, his father spent hours with him, made him puzzles out of magazines, and told him wonderful stories. He found out later that some were from the Iliad and others from operas. John originally wanted to be a musician, but also considered the ministry, law, and art. After switching from music to philosophy at Trinity University, Silber went on to Yale to earn a Ph.D. and spent three years on the faculty. In 1955, he joined the Department of Philosophy at the University of Texas in Austin, later becoming Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences. Silber was a leader in the integration of the University of Texas, the first chairman of the Texas Society to abolish capital punishment, and was also instrumental in the founding of Operation Head Start. In 1971, Silber became the seventh president of Boston University. Under his leadership, the university has attained financial stability and recruited faculty such as Nobel laureates Elie Wiesel and Saul Bellow. In 1989, the university celebrated its sesquicentenary with addresses by President Bush and French President François Mitterrand. John has written widely on philosophy and education and published an acclaimed book, Straight Shooting, setting out his ideas on educational, social, and political reform. In 1990, Silber was narrowly defeated in the race for governor of Massachusetts. He believes many of the things he wants to accomplish, such as establishing programs for preschool children, can best be done from the State House. Some of his ideas for educational reform are embodied in the Chelsea Project, in which Boston University manages the schools of a small city next to Boston. Several years ago, in the face of sustained criticism, John defended Boston University's investment in Seragen Incorporated, a biopharmaceutical company whose fusion toxin products are extending the envelope of medical research. His foresight and courage in initiating and helping to sustain this investment were fully vindicated when Seragen went public, enhancing the university's investment and retaining this innovative technology for the United States. For his contributions to education in Massachusetts and the nation, and his initiatives to address problems through the political system, we are proud to welcome into the Horatio Alger Association of Distinguished Americans, Dr. John Silber.